Hello! Today I am doing something that I've been putting off for a very, very, very long time. Deleting rubbish off my laptop. Honestly, I've got so much rubbish on there and I don't even know what most of it is. I'm not the techiest of people. I don't know how I ended up being a vlogger. I basically had an urge to vlog and have just found out what little bits of techie information I need to get me by. But understanding how hard drives are is beyond me. Today I've discovered I've even been backing up rubbish onto external hard drives. Well, that's just silly, isn't it? It's ridiculous. I'm scared to delete files in case it stops the laptop working because I don't know what they are. <laughs> I'm just going to make coffee because everything's better with coffee. Hmm. It's not looking good, is it, chaps? What even is this? Oh, no. Some time later and I've just bought a new one of these, a two terabyte. This is a one terabyte, that's a four terabyte, but that's full and that's my backup one. So I also want just for storage, like long term storage, so I can just label them with what they are and then leave them. But I want an active working backup as well. But I want more than just one backup because if one gets wrecked, I've lost everything. Vlogger problems. Right, I'm going to stop filming now until something interesting happens. Promise. Much time has elapsed. I'm on coffee number two. And I've just had a text from IB saying he's coming over in half an hour. And I totally didn't realise he was coming in the afternoon because IB doesn't normally turn up till the evening. But he's, he's coming. <laughs> so I'm going to do another half hour of purging of the hard drive. But I'm making some progress now. I found a load of files that have been auto saving that I didn't even know about that's taking up loads of storage and I really don't need them so I'm deleting those. I'm just going to get back to it. It's nearly three o'clock. I am brain dead from staring at a screen. I did lots of deleting and it's back in the blue. It's not in the red anymore. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to cook something vegan. Is he uh fearful of what is coming in the way of food in her direction. <laughs> there are some leftovers from last night's dinner. Last night I had potatoes, broccoli, carrots, as you can see, with fried mushrooms and heck vegan sausages for me. And Izzy had some vegetarian burgers that were left over that were not vegan. Quick vegan update. Well, I had another night of feeling bloated and stomach achy and I woke up this morning and I've looked like I was five months pregnant. My stomach was just like so bulging out. It was hard. Oh, I didn't feel good and I thought I'm gonna do probably a month of veganism because I want to give it a good go but I thought I don't think this is gonna suit me. And late last night I was up googling and <clears throat> I found a an interesting blog that said veganism suited some people really well and other people didn't thrive on it, depending on lots of factors including genetics and different people's ability to process certain nutrients in plant form. It's It looked very convincing that some people won't do well on it whereas others will. And I found some other videos that were dissing veganism. The thing is you just don't know what to believe do you because anybody can put out a blog post and some people are more motivated by people clicking on the posts and ad revenue and making money than actual fact and some people are not experts they go and paraphrase stuff and they cobble together articles just for revenue so I know full well not to just read something on the internet and change my life because of it. So, but anyway, it's all part of the uh, research, isn't it? But uh, this morning I ate two bagels with coconut oil spread and some marmite and I instantly felt better from my horrendous bloating. So that was weird. But I'm going to make something vegan now. I'm carrying on. <laughs> we'll see how we go on. Ivy is here. He's, he's just over there. Look, here's my creation with my leftovers and a couple of tins of tomatoes and some herbs and spices chucked in. It looks very nice too. Aww. And because it's a bit low carb, I'm doing some bagels with it. There's the final product served up. I've got a little sprinkle of these on, which is quite nice. IB approves. He's going back for seconds of it. What's the matter, Izzy? Nothing's wrong. IB says it looks suspiciously like goldfish food. I don't know what you mean. I, B and I are going to make the most of the last one hour of sun, sunlight? Daylight. Daylight. This is the UK, let's not exaggerate. Uh, and then we're going to go home again.
the sun is almost down, look it's set already, uh, but I'd be reckons we've got an hour of light so, oh it's a bit we've cold. Got an hour of walking, an hour of walking. Hour. he's got a torch in his pocket, just in case. <sighs> cold, there's lots of animal tracks here so I wonder if we might meet with some mighty beasts. IB's forgotten his phone. He's gone back to the car to get it. Lest somebody should smash his windows in for it. I think I found the path. It was kind of more of a hill than a path. We don't really know where we are or where we're going. Trick pointy thingy. Oh, it's so cold and windy. What, where are we the day? Yeah, we're just heading back to the car. IB can't settle because it's a bit of an exposed place and he's worried about the car getting broken into. And it's flipping cold up here on the hill as well, so let's find somewhere a bit less uh, windy and freezing and exposed. Whew. These poor fingers now hurt with the cold. It was exceptionally chilly up there, even though it's actually four degrees, but it feels much colder. It's not even that late, look, 23 minutes past four, but it's the time of year, I suppose. We're finally out walking somewhere that's a bit more sheltered and not quite so freezing, but the light is seriously going, so we won't be out long. We're going back home now. We're heading back. That was a very quick walk and it is proper dark now. I'm really impressed with this soggy tissue that's on the floor because it looks like a rat. That's so cute. <laughs> We're back home. IB's working at the table and I'm going to do some marking of Izzy's biology revision that I gave her to do and we're drinking tea. It's hot. Not much else happening now today apart from me cleaning this kitchen up and cooking dinner and chilling out for the evening. Thank you so much for watching, you know the form. Give the video a like if you liked it because it helps the channel to grow. Comment down any thoughts below and hit that subscribe button down there to follow more of our adventures and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!